In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a landscape page within a Word document. And so here on the left, you have a landscape page. And as you can see, it's wider than the traditional portrait page. So this would be useful if you have an extra wide figure or table, for instance. All right, so let's look at a hypothetical example and look at how you'd go about creating that landscape page. So for instance, let's say you've got a table started and you know it's gonna be wider than the portrait page uh, would accommodate. So what you wanna do is create a new section and within the Word document, each section can have its own formatting and other kinds of qualities. So if you double click on either the header or the footer, like so, you'll see it actually tells you what section you're in. So here we're in section three, and on this page, we're still in section three. And basically what that means is if you change the orientation, it's going to affect that entire section. So if I try changing this to landscape, suddenly the whole document, or at least that whole section is in landscape orientation. All right, so instead what we wanna do is create a new section and the new section will now be the home of our landscape page. And to do this, you use the function layout, breaks, and then section breaks. And I usually use the one that says next page, which means it starts at the top of the next page. So all you have to do to create the section break is put the cursor at the bottom of the previous page, and I would put it after any text on that page. Click layout, breaks, section break, next page. And when you click it, you'll see it moves down just a single line. But if you double click on the header or footer again, you'll now see that we have moved from section three to section four. Now, if your landscape page or landscape pages will be in the middle of the document, in other words, if you're gonna go back to portrait afterwards, you simply need to do the same thing to move from the landscape page back to the portrait page. So in this case, let's say I know I want the table to be on this page, but I don't really need the text to be on the landscape page. So I can just move the text down um, put my cursor on this page, which is going to become my landscape page, and do the same exact thing. Layout, breaks, section break, next page. And now we have everything we need. So if you click on the header or footer, previously we're in section three, now we're in section four, and the subsequent page is now section five. So what I can do is make a change to the orientation um, under layout of my new section. So I've changed this new section, which was section four, if you've been following, into a landscape page. And it didn't affect the pages that come after either. Now, one thing you'll notice, there might be some changes with the page numbers. That also has to do with the sections. And so if you find something like that, all you have to do is right click on the page number um, and use the format page numbers function you can just choose to continue from the previous section. So in other words, if I want the page number to continue, it will not do so. It goes from page five to page six. And you may have to do the same thing after the other section break. So now, just like that, we have um, a landscape page in the middle of our uh, portrait pages.